quarterfinal here at the 2021 IPJJF World Championships. One of the most highly anticipated matches of the weekend. Nicholas Marigali's opening match here in this division going up against Roberto Cyborg. Cyborg qualified through by getting a win yesterday in the elimination round. Marigali had three matches yesterday in the absolutes, winning all of those. So, Yeah, really excited for this match. Have we seen them fight before, Howell? We have, yes. Marigali submitted Roberto Cyborg in that's a right. super fight at Third Coast Grappling a couple of years yeah, ago that's now right. with a very deadly, very sharp loop choke. And I'm sure that Roberto Cyborg will have learned from that nice big not to right go yeah. head first against Nicholas Marigali because yeah. he really has a deadly loop choke. Absolutely. Added to, of course, his many other dangerous weapons that he can count on. Yeah, nice close guard pull from, uh, we went straight from Dilahiva to the close guard, and I really like this deep collar grip of uh, Marigali kind of inching that further and further back behind the neck. This is to be expected, I feel, seeing Cyborg in top position against Marigali. Marigali's got those long legs, because a very dangerous guard, loves to shoot up for arm bars triangles from bottom. But yeah, it's an interesting, you know, Cyborg has a lot of Sao Paulo style passing, which is what we're seeing yes. now is kind of gripping around the butt of Marigali. You have to be very careful with that style of passing with someone as long legs as uh, Nicholas because it's very hard to open the guard. And if you go f too far south, when you're in danger, you can climb to a high guard, open up, you know, Loplata's triangles. If we zoom in a little, we'll be able to get see some of those details because the... Yeah, Cyborg Post actually guard. has the, the collar, or the, the lapel of Marigali. Passed around the back. Passed yeah. around the back. Yeah, if we switch to the other angle, the mat side camera will be able to see that kind of there. We can see it, that the, the hand is actually free now, but Cyborg, what, he did have the grip of the lapel all the way around the back of Marigali. But I feel like that hand in the collar, Kendall, has maybe had him thinking twice about burying his head and going forward. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very effective pass. It can it, it can be very effective, right? But with someone of the caliber and the I would say more importantly, like the uh, the body style of Marigali can be pretty risky. We see a nice cross collar attempt here. This could be an actually a very good attack. That right hand is pretty high on the material, and he's climbing his legs up to the mid back. If he climbs up even higher, he can use that to bring the posture of Cyborg down. But now Cyborg opens up the guard. And Marigali getting right to work with that right. Oh, he's got the lasso. He's got the lasso. Huge Big sweep there. Overhead. Nicholas sweep Marigali. into an arm bar from Marigali. Almost gets the arm extended, but Cyborg manages to recover. Just an advantage from Marigali there. That's using the length. Of, there's the loop choke. There's the loop choke. It's on. It's on. That is very, very tight. But Cyborg's, Cyborg's still in trying to pass. Here. He's, he's still going over to the, to the pass. side, but it's not over. Look at this. Marigali could get the finish here. He's out, Cyborg wow. is out. Marigali puts Roberto Cyborg to sleep with the loop choke. Wow, what a game of chicken there. Cyborg probably thought that if he was able to continue passing, Marigali would be forced to defend, but he trusted in his choke. He kept attacking the whole time. He never released the grips because he knew it was tight. He knew it was on. That was absolutely incredible. Wow. Big win for Marigali. Huge win for Marigali who advances through in the ultra heavyweight division. A submission win in his first match of the ultra heavyweight. A loop choke against the veteran Roberto Cyborg. It did look at one point as if he was going to be able to escape from it. But, man, the way that when you jump over into the side control like that, it doesn't relieve the pressure. If anything, it makes it deeper. And Marigali had the, the sense, the good sense to kind of hang on to it and to finish it. And, well, the results speak for themselves briefly. Unconscious was Roberto Cyborg, but straight back to his feet now. And there is the win for Marigali. He will go through into the next round of the ultra heavyweight division of face off with Victor Hugo, who just won over on mat one. With a big triangle finish. So two big submissions from our semifinalists.